Alright guys, welcome back. We have just finished the intro of the game and now we are currently going to find that our sister. That figure seemed to keep its distance from even. When she got closer, it moved further away. It was leading her somewhere. Poof! Easy there, Even. What are you doing out so darn late? You're running like the old witch Uma put a curse on you. Oh, darling. You're thinking about your sister, aren't you? I feel you, child. I do. But she's been gone now a year. Ah, that spark in your eye tells me you're not fooling around. I remember being your age once, I do. And I know how important imagination can seem. All right, all right, I'll get out of your way. But don't tell your parents you saw me, deal? You're quite welcome, young Miss Even. And stay away from the outskirts. Where's that ghost? Hello, ghosty. Where are you? Ah, there you go. Wait up, please! Wait up! This was Onecroft, the world in which Even and her small family live. Like all Wonners, they hauled junk for the cargo ships that came and went in the night. All this labor was done for reasons that were never clearly understood. The queen willed it, and no one would dare oppose her. And that was enough for everyone. Everyone, that is, except even. Well, yeah. My sister. Hi, guys. Come on, Burn, just hit it. It's right there. What are you doing here, anyway? Yeah, even. Are your parents letting you out after dark now? Are yours? Honestly, even, I gotta say, I'm impressed. Never thought you had it in you to break a precious rule. Don't be mean, Lucky. I'm not mean. That was a compliment. I think you're cool, even. Even if you should listen to your parents more. My parents say listening to them is the coolest thing of all. You guys are so touchy. We're playing. She was talking to me. I think she was talking to all of us. Even we're playing. We're playing hit the pot with the potato. Or rather, I'm playing. These two bloobs are just losing at it. I couldn't sleep. My 12th birthday is coming up. Mine too. Gonna get to roll the dice when it comes. I'm gonna be a sixer. I know it. I'll be saying bye to all you bloobs and hi to the riches of Sixtopia. I'm not a bloob. I'm a star. My mom says so. I'm not a bloob either. Uh, what's a bloob? You getting a load of these bloobs, even? Listen, even, it takes two to be a jack. One to be the jack, and the other to be an even bigger jack by pointing it out. Well, that's just her bad luck. Not the sort of thing I've ever had to worry about. Really? How come? Because my name is Lucky, and... He meant, how come even thinks it didn't work out, Lucky? Oh, that's mysterious. I love mysteries. Have fun with your cool mystery, even. See you later. Whoa, not bad, even. I knew you could do it. Lucky shot. I'm not impressed. I could do that too if I wanted. No problem. That was amazing, Even. Hey, shut up. Anyone seen a ghost? Anyone? Oh, there it is. 
There. You saw it, didn't you? There it was again. Whatever that spirit wanted, it seemed to involve bringing even here. But why? Random rules, even. Random rules. Big city life. Oh, it must be so glamorous to be so cosmopolitan. So two-sided. fate was changing, that her future was suddenly filled with unknowns, and she also had the distinct feeling that she wouldn't be back home for quite some time. Even could barely make out what the ghostly figure was. It was beautiful, inscrutable, and there seemed to be a sorrow to Let's her. Let's jump into this pit. Wee! No time to think. Even was either going home to her parents without answers and with even more questions than before, or she was getting on that boat. She felt a pull beckoning towards something new. Oh, those are some nice cards you have there, kiddo. You find them yourself. Well, heck, let me take a look. Maybe, maybe these old papers will notice something you haven't. Well, look at these. Oh, these used to be everywhere, you know that? Oh, folks did trade them on the regular. Used to have quite a collection myself. I got, I got them straight from the factories in five tropolis where they made them, you know. Mint in books. Of course, that was before the war. A lot changed that night. We're still dealing with the consequences. Yeah, look around you, Missy. 
This ain't what things used to be. This ain't what things are supposed to be, either. The Queen, she distorted it all. Turned us from good, honest folks into... Uh, into whatever this is now. And the most don't remember it. Only me, it feels like sometimes. This thing actually shoots pretty far, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, but I need to go over there. It's just a storybook page, guys. If you look, you'll read the story. A long time ago in random, dice were everywhere and used to decide everything. Wondering what to wear, what to create, who to become. Any question, as long as it could be answered with a number, could be found by the spark of magic contained within the dice. And the king and queen of random were, well, decent to good. Life was wild. Life was free. Life was random. You don't get to come here. This is my reserve spot. You get your own. Now, go away. Oh, 
What do you think I'm doing here? We're all trying to hide, kid. Now leave. This is Herman's hidey hole. My little stowaway chamber. My realm of adlubescence that you're not invited in. It's my ticket out of this muddy town. It means something that's delightful. Like my room here. I... I... Wow. You really are just a kid, huh? Well, well, guess what? I myself was a kid once. Kid Herman. And now I'm adult Herman, and I'm getting out of here. Now go find your own spot. But there's no other spots. There are no... Well, come on! There's gotta be other spots. Go find them. Please, Herman. My sister's in trouble. I have to get aboard this boat. Oh, for the love of... <clears throat> Fine. Fine, you little, little guilt tripper. I'll let you in. Oh, but before I do, we got ourselves some house rules. One, be quiet. Two, don't touch anything. And three, be quiet and don't touch anything. You regret this, kid. I'm stowing away on a quest, see? And if the crew here gets wind of it, both our gooses will be cooked. So just sit here all quiet like and don't do anything. Shh, quiet, kid. I can't believe it. You're already breaking rules one and three. Yeah, look, I'll tell you what. Hide between those boxes and don't make any noise. You want to know about me? Here's a deal. I'm off to find Miss son, see? I'm headed for the cardmaker district, uh, Five Tropolis, or whatever the Queen's calling it these days. And... Quiet, kid, or you'll ruin the whole thing! Just, just, just go to sleep, kid. I'll wake you when we're there. The moment she'd let herself think about it, even realized she was actually exhausted. Tonight alone, she'd seen a ghost run away from home and boarded a ship traveling somewhere deep into the unknown heart of Random. Would she ever return? It didn't matter. Art was the only thing that mattered. With her sister's name on her lips, even fell into a deep slumber. Yay, an achievement for running away. I'm coming. Ethan, you found me. Stay right there. I'm coming. Hello, Even. You're home. It's where you belong. There's no time. No time? No time. A wanna is a wanna. Is a wanna is a wanna. When you're right, you're right. Even. Come stay with us. Do you want some tea? Everything's better with tea. Tea fixes everything, Ethan. Listen to your mother, Ethan. 
It's a dangerous world out there. Listen to your mother, even. Stay here. It's safe here. We'll never leave you again. Not ever. Not ever, even. We'll always be here, even. You'll always be her, even. Her desires are odd. It's the only way she'll learn. Go. Even if you're lost. The Queen will find you. They never... I, I don't think they... They were denying you your future. Robbing you of your true destiny. You're finally home. Wake up! Wake up, girl! No, 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 no! This whole time ship's falling apart, Tatum! Today's a difficult day for you, Herman. Wait! What am I supposed to do? Take one of these bad boys! <laughs> Has even lost sight of Herman. She realized she had also lost sight of her last connection to home. Okay, still alive. Uh, I can work with that. As long as I don't land on water, I should be able to work with that. Uh, find time to remember I don't know how to speak. She hoped desperately that she'd land somewhere near Sixtown. But the wind and the fates had very different plans for her indeed. place all right everyone that is where we're gonna cut our episode so if you want to see what happens to even next stay tuned for the next episode